Hi guys, my name is Fair and I welcome you all to Kredas. This is a long hike starting from Deedna village in the Chamoli district of Uttarakhand and we are going all the way to the village of Van via one of the largest meadows or bugyals in Asia known as Ali Bugyal and Bidni Bugyal. So the time is 9.15 and we have started our hike, day hike from Deedna to Van. We are a team of five people. Four boys, one girl. Starting at 9.15. Let's see how it goes. Far away what you see right now is the village of Kuling. And, and this village is actually uh, being subjected to a lot of natural calamities, especially landslides. So therefore people who are living in Kuling now are being relocated to the village of Didna slowly and gradually. And this village has already very recently got electricity, I think last week, Monday. And though the village is here since 1957, it is for the very first time that, that electricity has arrived. Thanks to all the hardworking young individuals. Uh, for example, Lucky, you can read more about his work and reach out to him if you want to do any tricks in the region. I have already given his contact details on the Instagram post. So definitely see that guy is wearing sandals so he is just washing his feet <laughs> enjoying the trail more than individuals who have been wearing shoes and the trail is quite definite guys and indeed beautiful so the whole trail is you know filled with these leaves and it is such a simple yet an amazing feeling to walk on path like these so we are climbing up and up and up until we reach Ali Bugyal so meet Pradeep bhai jinko aap Roopkund wale videos mein dekh sakte ho valley ka sabse fit banda kya bolte hai isko jula aur kya kama ata hai iski dawai banti hai Jula. Jula. Nice. This is the medicinal tree or herb that Pradeep was earlier referring to. So you can see a lot of white herb and grass growing on the small little stem and branches of this tree. That is what is known as Jula and it has definite medicinal properties. Some beautiful mushrooms. Wow. So guys, normally when uh, there used to happen a lot of trekking in this region, starting from Deedna all the way to Rupkund. Then uh, this area was used as one of the campsites known as Tolpani. And one small simple suggestion is that you can use your umbrella also as your trekking pole. But then obviously it's not like an ideal trekking pole. You cannot shift your weight uh, very much on the umbrella, but then definitely it could support you to some, some little extent. क्या नाम है इसका खरसू इससे खरसू उगता है पेड़ अच्छा अच्छा ये बीज है हां ये बीज है इसका नीचे का बीज खरसू का पेड़ हुए गाइस हां इससे खरसू का पेड़ और खरसू के पेड़ में कुछ लगता है फूल फल नहीं यही लगता है उसके ऊपर अच्छा 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 दोबारा से बड़ा होके गाय बकरी कोई कुछ खाता है हां गाय खाती इसको बकरियां खाती भेड़ खाती जैसे पत्ते हां पत्ते खाती खरसू हां खरसू सो दिस वन इज फिल्ड विद लॉट्स ऑफ मॉस एंड लॉट्स ऑफ मशरूम्स Wow. And then there are ferns on the top. Beautiful. Butter cookies. Ooh ooh, ooh ooh, ooh ooh. Shake it, crush it, keep it. So it has started raining and we have opened up the most important equipment for the day which is umbrella. Yay! Yeah, so guys, another benefit of carrying an umbrella is that uh, you can record your videos because even though if my phone is not waterproof, I can still, you know, keep it under the hood as I have right now and I can just walk swiftly. Secondly, raincoat also makes you feel a little damp. So I'm still wearing my t-shirt. Uh, it is a little cold, but then since I'm walking, 
I, my body is producing enough heat and all I need to do is to open up the umbrella to protect myself from the rain. So this is like an amazing beautiful section. You can see trees all along and then there's this beautiful trail in the middle of these gigantic enormous beautiful trees. We are up close to the meadow now. We are here in the first week of August and this is what you get in the monsoons. The good part about hiking in the monsoons is that you don't sweat a lot so your body temperature is maintained you don't dehydrate a lot because there's uh, not enough sun so the feeling that you get while you're trekking is really amazing it's really relaxing and beautiful but at the same time there are not many beautiful views so obviously since the skies are not clear it's all misty but then still I would hike in monsoons because it is an amazing amazing feeling Whoa! Ah, another one. Yep, so guys, behold Ali Bugyal, uh, one of Asia's largest Bugyals, that is Meadows. Oh, do you see this? Wow. Yay. And uh, now can you spot three trekkers? Let's zoom in. Uh, yep, there they are. So see, these are meadows technically. Uh, that's Lucky. Heading towards Bedni Bugyal. I just came down because, oh man, how could I have missed this? And you can also see that the weather has cleared a bit. The clouds are rising up from there, but then I think we have a small, sweet little window. Yep, nobody is interesting in interacting. Running away, running away, running away. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Hi guys. Let's go, let's go. We are close to Bedni. Okay, so we are at the water refill point. Water! Pavan is, is having time of his life. What is up? What is up? What is up? What is up? Water, water everywhere and every drop to drink. So guys, almost 6 hours into the trail and we are now very up close to Bedni Kund. You can barely see a small temple. 
that's where the water body is. Please, will you not call this a little valley of flowers in itself? Wow. Yeah, so guys, this is Bed Nikund, I think. This is the highest point of our trek for today. And from here, all we have to do is descend, descend, and descend. All the way to one. It is raining cats and dog, and they found the dog for ourselves. So guys, we are finally going to these huts, three of them. Then there are three of them, they are just underneath a Pavan's umbrella and then there are two right in front. So there are a total of eight huts here. And this is the time, this is the place where we are actually going to have lunch. Yay! So we have arrived, we have arrived, we have arrived. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, lunch time, lunch time, lunch time. Yeah. Yep, so we are starting at 3.20. We have covered an almost 13 kilometers in the last six hours because we were just taking it super slow today. Now I think it will take us another four to five hours to descend all the way down to one. But then we had a good lunch and uh, Everybody is fit and fine, everybody is cold though. But then just the key is that you just keep going, going, going so that your body produces enough heat so that you don't need lots and lots of layers. So you can obviously refill your water but be extremely careful because obviously since it is monsoons, the flow of the river is really, really high. So find a sweet spot for yourself, don't make your shoes wet and then just, just get your water filled. Yeah, quite easy but be super safe. So the descent ends at the Neil River Bridge and now we go all the way up and then a very small descent back to the village of Van. I think we can wind it up in next one and a half hour. The time right now is 5.30 p.m. in the evening. Namaste. Namaste. बहुत बहुत नमस्ते। Bye bye। Bye bye। So we are just beneath the premises of the famous deity of this valley known as the Lato Devta Temple, and we'll not go to the temple obviously. We'll head down, but then this area is a you'll find cypress trees. Also known as Surali or Surahi trees in abundance. They're all all over the place. So guys that's the road head, that's where the trek ends. And we're just two minutes away. And another beautiful trek just comes to an end. Beautiful day.